Good afternoon, students. The revision work of Calci. In the previous lecture, we discussed what is the meaning of a open office or ORG Calci. It is a spreadsheet software. It is an open source. So the main thing, the main feature of open source software is we can uh, make the changes in the coding of a uh, software and reintroduce the same. Clear? The coding of any open source software is available free of cost without any charges. It is available in the uh, website uh, or uh, in the shape of pen drives, it means soft copy is available. You can make the changes if you are aware about the coding and you can reintroduce the same software. So, open of it, you can see this is totally uh, free of cost. Second one is it is open source. And uh, in last lecture, we discussed. When we open uh, Calci, its uh, screen is similar to other software, except uh, different parts are of uh, the window is same, like uh, title bar, these are the control buttons, then there is a menu bar, tool bar, the uh, scroll, uh, there, is, there are scrolling is there, horizontal and vertical scrolling is there. Then there is a status bar. But two things that make your uh, spreadsheet uh, software different from other software. Yes, too many parts of spreadsheet software that make the spreadsheet software different from other. These are name box and formula bar. Clear? Ye baki software is not the name box, the formula bar. Name box means. Uh, selected cell ka address to that or formula bar is used to display two things. Whatever you are typing in any cell, it is displayed in two places. One is cell in uh, cell, and second one is the uh, formula bar. So uh, then we discuss about uh, the uh, there are some basic terms used in spreadsheet. This is called workbook. It is just like you are uh, uh, just you can say work uh, just like your uh, book that contain different pages. So there is a any file created in the spreadsheet software is called workbook. And inside the workbook there are different uh, pages, and these pages are called worksheets. Here by default three worksheets added at a time. Okay, you can increase it. You can also decrease. But minimum is one, maximum there is no any maximum limit. Do you clear better? Yes, sir. So how many worksheets by default, how many worksheets are there? So there are three worksheets in a workbook, okay? And second one, minimum one worksheet is required and maximum uh, there is no any limit okay now uh, there are uh, three type of uh, cell reference these are number one relative absolute and mixed These are the three type of references available in the, in the case of your spreadsheet software. Okay. When we copy the formula from one place to another place, the relative reference always change. Absolute reference never change. But in the case of mixed reference, it, the row or column which is fixed will remain as it is and other one will be changed. Now next is And uh, three, uh, different type of data which we can enter in any cell is 
number x okay and formula slash function so functions are uh, preloaded or saved function formulas a formula is a mathematical calculation arithmetic equation now next is when we want to enter data in any cell type the data press enter key or there is a accept button in formula bar so there are three buttons in formula bar function wizard cancel and accept to so jaise hi aapne accept ki par click karoge data will be accepted okay now next is which shortcut key is required if we want to alter the data or modify the data one way is i double click here i can enter the data i can change the data but in case of uh, mouse which shortcut key is used to modify the data or alter the data yes students quickly give the answer divya shortcut key to modify the data or uh, make your range uh, to set the data yahan pe data set nahi ho sakta agar main yahan pe type karunga to data overwrite ho jayega agar maine data ko change karna hai which shortcut key is required रियाशिका सर एफ टू की यस इट इज एफ टू तो प्रेस एफ टू तो योर सेल विल बी इन एडिटिंग मोड ठीक है यू कैन टाइप और चेंज द डेटा तो दिस इज एफ टू ओके नेक्स्ट इज इफ आई वांट टू सेलेक्ट अ कंप्लीट रो I will have to click on row number. Or when a column goes set, करना है तो column character के ऊपर ये click करना पड़ेगा. But there is shift and space, shift and space bar. The complete row will be selected. Okay. So you will have to click on uh, any cell, press shift key, and then space. Shift key plus space key. The complete row will be selected. And in case you want to select a column, press here Control key plus Shift key plus space key. So these are the two sh uh, shortcut key to select entire column or entire row. For selecting complete row, the shortcut key is. Here is shift key plus space bar, and for complete column, press control key plus shift key plus space bar. Now next is, uh, if we want to select a range, one way is with the help of your mouse, press your left mouse button and uh, drag it from down direction or uh, in a uh, your uh, right uh, right direction. So this is your range. But cells are in a continuation form continuity me i this is okay but second way is if you want to select uh, cells that are scattered click on first cell press your control key and select other cells 
but if you are press using shift key, press first key, first uh, click on first cell, press shift key, click on last cell, the range will be selected. Okay. So shift key से continuation में cell select होते हैं, control key से scatter cell select होते हैं, और you can also use the arrow keys for selection. But for this you will have to press shift key. Next is Next is copying it. Okay. So, if you have to copy data, copy karna hai, type show data, select your data, and uh, there are some buttons available in your standard toolbar copy, copy button, control plus C. Okay. By using that, you can copy it. Okay. And in case you want to paste it, there is a paste button. So, you can paste button se aap usko paste kar sakte ho. And if you will do cut, so cut means deleting from the previous location and paste in a new location. So, here is a cut and come to the new location and then click on paste. So, these are cut, copy, and paste. Next is the shortcut keys are control C for copy, control X for cut, control V for paste. There are also shortcut key, uh, right click, uh, right uh, shortcut key. So, I may have discuss early, or there is a right menu. If I press right button, these are, these are cut, copy, and paste option. Or in edit menu, there is a cut, copy, paste option. So there are number of methods to apply cut, copy, and paste. Next is uh, if I have. I am now going to enter one list, one range. So here is a roll number. One, two, three, four, five. Here is name of the student. Suppose here is a crate. So these are the different crates. Now, if I want to give the name of this range, simply copy this, uh, select the range and in name box, delete the previous contents and give the name of the range. So I, uh, I'm going to give the name, my data and then press enter. So, Jesse, you can see or scroll through or name box, click on my data is here. I click on my data, my range will appear. This is how we can give the name of a range. Clear? Now next is uh, we can also give the name of a any range by clicking on insert, then click on names, and then click on define. So, here I have my name provided. New name and click on OK. So, there are two ways to declare, to give the name of your range. 
one is select your range and from in a name box type new name and press enter key second way is select your range click on insert menu then click on names then click on define shortcut key is control plus f3 suppose i want to give the name of this range press control plus f3 Riyanshika clear three methods to give the name of a range okay fiksha it is clear beta okay next is So next is filling a range. But there is a one feature of a spreadsheet software is if I type some common spirits like one two, and I select the these two cells, and at the bottom there is a fill handle. I select it and drag it. So there will be automatically. Data will be entered. This is called this is called autofill. Okay, so ये automatically data fill कर देगा. Autofill feature is there. So this is called uh, this uh, mouse uh, the cursor that is converted into plus symbol. When we place the mouse at the bottom of your range, there is a small square. This is called your fill handle. Clear. Second ways. I click on the cell and click on edit. Then click on fill. Okay. For our pass, क्या होना चाहिए? एक उसको पता होना चाहिए एक कैल्सी को कि आपने क्या टाइप करना है. ठीक है. Suppose I am typing here two. Here is a four. So select these two cells. So it will define the trend of your Uh, range. Click on Edit. Click on Fill. Down. Okay. So here, uh, same thing. If you have, if here, if you have, 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 if you तो अदरवाइज आप अगर आपने ड्रैग करना है तो सिंपली आप ऐसे भी कर सकते हो यहाँ पे वन टाइप करके ड्रैग करोगे तो इट विल योर डाटा इन सीक्वेंस लाइक वन टू थ्री फोर लाइक दिस नेक्स्ट इज So fill handle. So if you uh, select any cell, so at the bottom and in the uh, right bottom corner, there is a black square. If I place mouse there, it is converted into plus symbol. It is a fill handle. So this square box, small square box, is called fill handle. Next is if I want to save this worksheet, a workbook, click on File, click on Save. There is a another way is Save button available in Standard Toolbar. Or shortcut key is Control Plus S. So these are the three things, three methods to save your uh, spreadsheet. One is 
click on file click on save then shortcut key is control plus s and third way is save button available in the your standard toolbar and there is a, another option save as save as means you want to give a new name otherwise if i am clicking on save uh, this uh, data will be saved in the old uh, spreadsheet so you will not uh, give a new name but if you want to uh, make the changes in the previous spreadsheet and save it with a new name you will have to use save as option by default when at the first time if you are going to save this spreadsheet it is always save as okay now the shortcut is control plus shift plus s control plus shift plus s this is the shortcut suppose i have uh, saved my file now, now if i press control plus s my data will be saved in the previous file okay and if i want to save my data in new file control plus shift plus s one by wait one minute better uh, the shortcut is control plus shift plus s control plus shift plus s okay here is a my uh, previous option is not working here this is assigned to any other work okay so apply it in your computer system okay the shortcut key for saving the document is control plus s and for save as it is control plus shift plus s this is the shortcut key and in case you are you want to open the spreadsheet shortcut key is control plus o this is called uh, this is the shortcut key to open the document uh, open the spreadsheet otherwise there is a click on file click on open and uh, dialog box will, uh, will appear select your folder and select your file and click on open button yeah, but there is also one button available in your uh, standard toolbar that is open button for open tool next is if you want to quit from a workbook ठीक है एक वर्कबुक में से आपने यू वांट स्टॉप दैट यू वांट टू क्लोज दैट तो देर इज ए क्लोज बटन क्लिक क्लिकर और क्लिक ऑन फाइल क्लिक ऑन क्लोज टू क्लोज द वर्कबुक एंड इफ यू वांट टू क्लोज द कैलसी क्लिक ऑन एग्जिट द शॉर्टकट इज कंट्रोल प्लस Q. The control plus Q is the shortcut key for quitting from Kelsey. And if you want to close the uh, your file, your spreadsheet or your file, click on file, click on close button. Next is So uh, I am inserting my data roll number and uh, the heading color is in red color. Here marks it is in green color. And if I select the range. and click on edit and click on delete content 
okay a dialog box will appear it has different uh, uh, options delete all it means it will delete all the things text it means it will delete only text it will not remove other things here only text if i click on number it will delete only num numeric values but if i click on format so it will remove only formatting okay here is a red color in place of that it is a black color and here in place of green color i have black color next is there uh, the different options are delete all text number date and time formula comment format object so remember these names different options of delete delete content okay so delete content these are delete all text number format formula then uh, there is date and uh, time object comments so these are the different options of delete contents dialog box this option is available in edit menu and then delete content or agar aap koi bhi delete key press karte ho clear the same dialog box will appear the shortcut key is delete key any doubt in this yes hurry up beta give the answer uh, give the response beta gi yeah, it is clear yes sir next is in case i want to insert new cell so i am clicking on cell 66 here okay so if i click on insert cell the dialog box will appear it has four options different options of of insert cells shift cells down shift cell right entire row entire column so if i click on shift cell down it so means a new cell will be inserted and uh, the previous contents will be shifted down and if i click on shift cell right so all the previous cells will be shift towards the right right direction and uh, and if i click on insert cells and click on 
entire row. The new row will be added. And if I click on entire column, a new column will be added. And the next is, if I click on edit and click on delete cells, the options are shift cell up, shift cell left, delete entire row, delete entire column. Remember these with are uh, different uh, options. Different options of uh, delete cells. Shift cell up, shift cell left, delete entire row, delete entire. Follow. Tomorrow I will continue with this.